Oh. This week we're uh, fishing with Phil Schweik of Hook Setters Guide Service up here in the Wausau area on the Wisconsin River. Phil, why don't you tell us a little bit about how fishing's been and... You know, the fishing's actually been pretty good the last two weeks. We've had some really, really, you know, numbers of fish on certain days. Um, you know, one day we had 11 fish in the boat, which is, you know, unbelievable. And uh, other days it's one or two fish. We've had a lot of rain, the water's high, it's fast on the river, and uh, and these fish are in really tight areas, you know, like this eddy up here you see coming up. Those are types of spots that I'm looking for. Anywhere where there's slower, slacker current, we're gonna we're gonna find our fish. So, you know, kind of like uh, like Steve was saying earlier, it's not we're starting on one end of the river and running the whole thing. We're hole hopping, which is something we don't normally do, especially in the summer. You're just running the whole river looking for active fish. We're looking for specific areas to find these fish in because that's where they're going to be, you know, pushing into these tight little areas. And we're fishing slower baits, you know, jerk baits, bulldogs. Um, no bucktails at this time of the year, no top water baits, but just stuff that's slow and, and, and gliding through the water nice and easy so they can find it. Great. You know, obviously we've been running suckers all day and it's been a really good sucker bite for the last two weeks and today we haven't even had a bump, so it's, it's weird. It's been a weird, weird day today, but... <laughs> I thought I was dragging a leaf off of them. Oh, he's got one. That's a big one. That is a big one. caught it to come fishing with you. <laughs> Whether we caught anything or not, but this is freaking wow. morning. Alright, hold on to the net. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'll do that. I'm gonna hit the spot lock. Spot lock is oh, unbelievable. You Un wanna tell me about unbelievable. that? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's a good fish. That is a good it's fish. A fish dude, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Giant boat side bite on the shallow dog. <laughs> Nice Fishing job. with the legendary Phil Schweik here in central Wisconsin, bro. Nice job. Nice that's job. That's my biggest one of the year. Really? That's a big one. That's sure. a big one. I saw its head and I'm like, oh man, that thing is giant. That's a good one. Tank. Oh, brother. <laughs> she's, just, she's, big, she's a big one. I saw her mouth come up and I'm like, oh man, that thing is a big one. Give me a tool. Get her off. I don't know if that's a 50 though. No? I don't know. She's big though. God, I think she's gonna be really close. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. I don't care what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's over 40. Look at that sound. Oh, that's well over 40. That's what you get, guys. Bulldogs in the fall, man. We're fishing the uh, river system. They work really well. And this is a shallow dog because they're fishing relatively shallow water. It's five to ten feet most of the places we're at here. And I just literally just barely got her. Came up and got me right at the boat. Out of nowhere, blind figure eight bite. And she literally just nipped it. I guess I had her better than I thought, though. You got her pretty good. Yeah. There she goes. Hooks out? Yep. Hooks out. Yeah, if she ain't 50, she's 49. Look at the thing. There's that. Musky Innovations Bulldogs, guys. They work all season long, and especially in this cold water. Well, we just got her on pin, guys. That was on that shallow Magnum Bulldog, and I mentioned those shallow dogs in the fall before. It's a really great tool, especially in the, the late fall when it's getting colder. You want that slower drop speed. You want generally slower motion. 
Well, the shallow dog will still get deep, you just gotta give it time, and that's the key, is getting it down there deep and then moving it slowly. And we're on a, a river system here, fishing with Phil Schweik, Cook Center's Guide Service, the central Wisconsin. Uh, awesome area, I actually spent the day, a couple hour drive down here from Hayward, get on some new water, fish with Jeff from Team Rhino, and uh, hopefully get a few fish in the boat. It's been a long grind, we've actually fished all day long. Phil got a little, er, a little one early on a Suic. Uh, no other action all day long, and that's fall fishing. Um, you will literally fish for hours and hours and hours at times with no action and then get most of your bites in a matter of a few minutes. Uh, this I'm pretty sure is my biggest fish of the season, which I got to thank Phil for because I honestly fish every single day and I haven't been hit by one this big yet this year, buddy. <laughs> That's so a good one. We're going to take a look at her. She's going to be a tank, guys. Super, super big one. She is not happy to be caught. Here we go. Oh, yeah, brother. That's pushing the 40 pound class here, guys. Central Wisconsin. They say you don't get big muskies in Wisconsin. I have to disagree. Fishing with Phil Schweik, Hook Setter Guide Service, out of the Wausau area. That is an awesome fish, man. Let's throw them on the ruler Let's one. See there you go. I'm going to give her 50. 50 on the nuts. <laughs> Well, but a, a big dandy. 50, dude. Heavy. Bill Schweik, it's a 40 pounder, man. I ain't kidding. Heavy fish. Nice job. Awesome. You gotta take her off. Let's get a picture of your hand in his head. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. Take Please. a bunch. Ho, ho, ho. What a fish. 50 inch big goldie. Huh. Look at that gator. Put your hand right on top of its head once. <laughs> we'll see. We'll get a picture of that. She's so cool. Oh, that's a big fish. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna let her roll. There she goes. See you, mama. You're awesome. Look at that. Look how giant that thing is. Holy man. Here comes the rain. Well guys, you can see we're working some current breaks here. That's really the key to late fall fishing on these rivers is, is finding those current breaks and finding that slack water. You guys seen us catch that giant on the shallow bulldog. Um, how I work a bulldog in the fall is a lot different than how I work it in the summer. We're going much, much slower. And I mentioned how I use that shallow dog, especially in these really cold temperatures because it has such a longer hang time. So it makes that bait hang a little bit longer in their face, slows down the presentation. And at times, that can be key. Obviously, there's times where you want that weighted bait to get you deeper. But when we're fishing shallow rivers in this cold water, that shallow magnum bulldog is a pretty key tool. And really what we're trying to do is get as close to targets as we can. And then it's a slow pull pause. Slow pull pause. Every now and then, I'll give it that up rip. But basically, I'm just giving her a pull, reeling up my slack. And the bite a lot of times will just be weight on the end of the line. Or as you saw here, the fish will show up right at the boat and grab it. Uh, so you always want to do a good figure eight, but if you feel anything weird in this cold water, um, it feels spongy, it feels like a stick, anything weird, I set the hook because hook sets are free and it's amazing how many times they bite them relatively light. Other times they of course engulf them all the way. Slow, 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 focus on that current break, focus on the slack water and focus on those key areas and, and fish them real thoroughly. Our boat control is much slower, our casting is much slower, our sucking presentation is much slower. And that's the key, we're not fishing and running and gunning and fishing the whole river, we're fishing very select spots and we're fishing them very thoroughly and very slowly. That's gonna get you more fish in the fall. Hey everybody, you're wrapping up here day one, uh, fishing with Phil Schweik, Hook Setter Guide Service. 
the man, the myth, the legendary. Oh, I don't know a, about that. It was an awesome time. In fact, it was, uh, I wanted to come down and fish with Phil so much, I, I took a three hour ride from Hayward down just to come down and fish for the day, and I am so glad I did, Phil. Con well, thank you. I'll tell you what. Thank you. <laughs> it, was, it was my pleasure having you in the boat. I got my, you know, uh, I am. my biggest fish of the season today, and uh, you know, it's super late fall. We're literally one day away from Halloween. We're getting yeah. winding down on our guiding uh, for the summer. And uh, for the year, for the year, for the year, and uh, we, we just wanted to get out, do a little YouTube filming with Jeff. And, and we've been wanting to get on these river systems with you because we know how well you do here. And you know, it's late fall, so fish position really changes a lot this time of year. And I think a lot of muskie anglers really struggle going into those last couple weeks of season. And, and up in Hayward, where I fish, I'm predominantly on natural lakes. So, what I see happening there is, is you see these fish transition from the shallow flats to steeper breaks. And then they'll really sort of concentrate on the points on those steep breaks. And they can be all the way down in the bottom in 20, 30 feet of water. Here on this river system, you don't necessarily have such deep water, maybe in a few areas. But the patterns are somewhat similar. The fish move deeper and they relate to certain areas. Why don't you talk a little bit about how fish position here in the rivers in this late season? You know, it, there's a lot of things you got to take into consideration. And I tell people all the time, number one thing you got to look at in a river system is current. Despite everything else, current determines where those fish are. If the water's high, if it's low, if it's fast, slow, that current determines where those fish are. Now, like Steve was saying, we don't have typically that deep 20, 30 feet of water. There's a few areas below the dams and a couple right. of deep, deep holes that'll hold those fish. And those are typically wintering areas where those fish will go. And a lot of times we'll target some of those areas, throwing bulldogs and counting them down and working them deep. But most of the time we're drifting the river down and and selecting specific spots to fish, you know, eddies, current areas that are, you know, broken up by rocks or wood. That's the only two things we really have in here. We don't have weeds in this river system. Right. So you've only got really two things to look for, you know, current breaks because of rocks or wood, or, you know, eddies and pools where you get a, a deeper inside turn where the, the main part of the current's pushing the outside edge and right. then you got those inside edges. So I look for the deeper inside edges that'll hold the fish yep. and I'll drift them down with suckers and then working you know, in and out like we did, casting in and out. And I'll turn the boat around and actually work back up through there so we, we work it thoroughly. Yep. And like you said earlier, slowly, meticulously, working your baits very, very methodically through those areas to try to find an active fish. I would say probably the biggest difference that I've seen, you know, basically between the rivers and the lakes is you can still get fish relatively shallow here, um, even all the way up to the end. Where in the lakes, it seems like that bite transi transitions much, much deeper. So keep that in mind. If you're on rivers late fall, try some of those shallower spots. But really, most of the stuff that we fished today was visual. We could see those current breaks. And when you can see that slack water, you know those fish are hiding up there. So it was really visual. Um, fishing those deeper eddies obviously paid off for us today. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. it pays off for you guys tomorrow. I know Jeff's going to stay one more day, fish with Phil. Uh, I think they're going to hit a different body of water. Hopefully the, the success will continue. Stay tuned, you're gonna have some more musky action here on Team Rhino Outdoors. All right, it's day two over here on our, on our Wisconsin River Fiesta with uh, Phil Schweik. And I got a new friend with me today, Andy Veith from uh, Infamous Musky Tackle decided to join us. Hey Andy, you got some big shoes to fill. Think you're gonna be able to handle it today? I don't know, hopefully we can find a dumb one. All right, so well. One, one last shot for the year. Stay tuned. You got the cameras rolling? I got some cameras rolling. <laughs> Where's Phil? You want to get Jump Bean out of the rock? You weren't getting that out. No, I wasn't. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I actually for I forgot all about that. That's what I used to do to them all the time. Got one? He's not going anywhere. Woo! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, <laughs> he is super down there all in there, though. Yeah. You want to grab those close players? Yeah, we got to get him out of the net. He's kind of. Do a video on cutting hooks. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten a few of those videos this year. Go. She's unhooked. Now I just got to get the line. 
Is there a hook in him or is the hook out? Uh, hooked out. Just in case when you grab him, you don't get the rest yeah, of Yeah, I got him double yeah. tied here. Oh, yeah. He's hog Super tied. tied. Almost got him. Okay, got him. Okay, huh. okay. Oh yeah, solid fish. Nice fish. Nice way to start the morning. Yep. Nice solid one. Beautiful clean green. Ready to go. Where'd you get that one on, Andy? Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Alright, look at the head on that little guy. <laughs> Congratulations, nice job. <laughs> That'd be nice. I can't believe you won't grab one of the suckers. I can't either. Seemed like he was feisty enough. Oh. Got him? Yeah, I got something. <sighs> first it's uh underneath the console, I think. I say I don't know what I got, but I got something. Is that a musky? Yeah, you got something. I snag him. Just keep bringing him in. I think I snagged him. Keep real and steady. You did. He took a swipe at it and you got him in the side. <laughs> That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Nice and easy. Got a button hooked, eh? I do. He took a swipe at it and. I... That's why he ran off like he did. Holy smoke, that's a nice fish too. <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> Sharp hooks, man. Sharp hooks, takes a swipe. Unbelievable. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. That's a that's a low 40s, maybe yeah, mid. Mid 40s. That's a good fish. I'm going to let you hold on to this. I got it. Don't let that down. I got I'm it. I'm going to go put the um, spot. And that is why you sharpen your hooks, kids. Just push them straight out. There we go. That's Beauty. the photo. Look at the light, too. Awesome. That's a beautiful Okay, photo. bump them. All right. Oh, 46? 46, yeah. You're right, 46. Yep, 46. Wow, healthy, heavy 46. Oh, yeah. And blonde. I'm just yeah. amazed by how blonde that fish is for a river fish. Beauty. Just an absolute tank. Wow. Nice work, dude. Very nice. Oh. Smashing on the suic, pooping on the boat. Oh, yeah. Got to get a little duker. Not quite as big what? as thieves yesterday, but man, she is fat. Yeah, just thick. That's all they are at this time of year. It's heavy. <coughs> yeah, one oh, messed up girl. eye, too. Yeah, and like from before, right? Yeah. Well, there she goes. It certainly wasn't from this time. Look at that super tinker. <laughs> Wow. Don't worry Andy, if you screw this one up, you'll get another shot. I'll let you keep going.
far, that's not a bad day. No, four strikes, that's a good day. We've had two muskies in the boat. And a chance at a yep. third one. I don't know. A legit chance. Yeah. That's a wrap on our two day uh, trip here to the Wisconsin River with guide Phil Schweik. Uh, Phil, we can't ask for a better day, I guess. I mean, we had a giant yesterday. We had a nice 46 inch here today. Andy put himself on a well, mid 30, upper 30 inch fish, and then he botched a sucker, which, <laughs> you know, that's what you get out of Andy, but <laughs> just well, give him our time. Yeah, well, you know, not only that, we, uh, the rest of the morning was pretty quiet until we had this last, last strike, not more than a half hour ago. So obviously two separate windows today. Um, one early this morning, which was really good, where you got a nice fish, he got a nice fish, and we lost a good one. Um, it was a good day, Yeah, a good day. So if uh, you want to get a hold of Phil Schweik, if you're interested in a trip, Phil, how do they get a hold of you? You can contact me at 715-581-2620. That's my cell phone number. Or you can go online to Hooksetters Guide Service at www.hooksetters.biz. Or you can visit my Facebook page at Phil Schweik. Any Perfect. of those will get you there. Perfect. Phil's really dialed in here on the Wisconsin River. I mean, the, the quality of fish that we had today or yesterday were just unbelievable. Anyways, that wraps up another episode. We appreciate you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you considered doing that. And we'll catch you all uh, next week. Thank you.